Tuesday, Wednesday, happy days. Was Wednesday your happy day? Let's talk. That's right, I am the man you may know as Z, and I am here to discuss Wednesdays. That's right, the Netflix hit, bigger than you thought it would ever become. It's huge, it's out there, and I watched every episode, and I actually reviewed them. So if you want to check out my shorts, I did a whole bunch of short reviews of each episode to give you a little bit of a taste of the funnies, to give you a little idea what was going on in each episode. Ten second review if you will, and uh, I thought it was good, shocked, I had very low expectations for the show, didn't expect much, Um, but yeah, it actually turned out way, way better than I would have thought, I uh, was a little, you know, I I like the Addams Family, I like the original one, I like the one, the adaptation back in the 90s, so uh, this was kind of surprising when it you know, you never know what you're going to get with, with uh, Netflix. It's, it could always be something really long and kind of boring and, and you know, too much vamping. Now, I do feel like it was a little bit too much with how many episodes. I think it was eight episodes total. Uh, they probably could have cut it down to six. That would have been okay. You know, give it a six-hour take. But essentially, it's the story of young Wednesday Adams, who is no longer a prepubescent girl she's now a raging hormonal teenager who is being she gets expelled from uh, normal school for being naughty and ends up being accepted into her mother's alma mater the nevermore academy which is a private school for werewolves um sirens and gorgons you know people who turn people to stone I don't think they fleshed out that part real well that it was just like they were just like oh it's a place full of misfits so here's the island of misfit toys and you'll you'll get the idea uh you know and i thought that they they developed it it was interesting she kind of has a character arc which i was surprised because she's kind of this homicidal perpetually depressed person and uh she goes to nevermore academy starts under under uncovering that there's a conspiracy afoot there whether the conspiracy is <clears throat> primarily based on her mother going there and her father, that's where they met and fell in love, or is it about something else, or is it something in the love triangle that she's got going on there, because she got many a boy looking to uh, jump on the Wednesday train. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was good, and you know what? It's all anchored by the performance, the extremely strong performance by Jenna Ortega. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the cast. I thought Jenna Ortega was absolutely fabulous. She just anchored the entire show. Really did did her best uh, to keep it going. I thought all the guys were kind of interesting. They're a little mopey and dopey and, uh, you know, her love interest. The other big standout in this for me is Emma Myers. She's going to have a big career ahead of her. She was the, you know, super likable, plucky friend of hers who's a, a werewolf who can't wolf out. I thought Catherine Zeta-Jones was all right as uh, her mom. She's not as good as the uh, Morticia Adams from previous incarnations, uh, but she was okay. The one I thought that was kind of woefully miscast was her dad. While I like that actor quite a bit, he just pales in comparison to Raul uh, Julia and his depiction of it. It's uh, it's it's kind of... Um, it definitely stands out as one of the weakest characters. And I definitely don't think that they did enough with the with the family. I mean, this was so focused on Wednesday that you really didn't get anything else. You barely got anything from her and her brother's relationship. Um, who was the, who played her father? Louise Guzman, I think it was. They don't even have him build. And he was supposed to be a, a, a big part of it. He was pretty bad in in most of it. He's not smooth. He's not as, like, it's hard to believe that he could woo someone like Catherine Zeta-Jones. And I felt like a lot of the characters weren't quite in it enough. Like, Ricky Lindholm was, you know, in it. And I'll do a little bit of spoilers. She's kind of a red herring in there. Gwendolyn Christie was actually pretty good as a protagonist. 
but I felt like a, they established a lot of good characters only to whittle them down just by killing them off, you know? It's a mystery, and there's all these red herrings, and once the red herrings start dying, you're like, okay, what am I even left with here? You did have a surprise appearance by Uncle Fester. Um, thought that that was kind of, uh, again, kind of the weakest, one of the weakest episodes. I didn't really like who played Uncle Fester. Um, the guy from Portlandia. You've seen him in other things. I forget his name, but he's not that important. He's only in one episode and really doesn't add that much to it. It's kind of like this weird side quest that she goes on. Obviously, the tomato score, the the critics have it 72%. The audience really likes this. This is at 86%. Um, they describe the show, critic consensus, Wednesday isn't exactly full of woe for viewers, but without Jenna or Tega in the lead, this Adams Family adjacent series might as well be another CW drama. I actually totally agree with that. Without her, she elevates the material to a level that is uh, pretty acceptable. I will say as far as like a, it's like kind of a Scooby-Doo mystery, right? You've got Jenna Ortega running lead and things kind of Scooby. So this might as well have been a Velma series. Nothing wrong with that. She absolutely carries the weight of the show. I'm totally down with that. A little bit too much of like, oh my gosh, there's like three boys after her and they all want her even though she's absolutely dreadful to all of them and maybe that's part of the allure but you would think at least one or two of them would be like yeah i'm not into this girl she's uh not that interesting i if you if you watch my my 10 second reviews the first episode i was not a fan of i thought tim burton did a really bad job with it i thought it was really boring and really didn't do a lot to set anything up uh but once it, the show got along i i started to uh really get into it i definitely think it'll get a season two fingers crossed hopefully they have something good to do with it but as for news wednesday is the second most popular english language series with 1.02 billion hours viewed Woof. uh only stranger things season four and squid games managed to uh track that much so it looks like uh, things are going good for them you know, they had a bunch of viral moments, which I think is a big thing. She had a viral dance scene, which I really liked. That was great. Uh, Lady Gaga did a dance to it. It's uh, the Goo Goo Muck by the Cramps. So th that's another hit song. So good that, you know, they tie it all into there. It actually uh, beat out Dahmer. It's one of the most watched shows. So good for them. And uh, let's see. How did it get so big? Uh, get, you know, I think Jenna Ortega... Her career is like gonna explode from this. And she's just as, <laughs> she seems just as quirky as the character. So, you know, I highly recommend this. I think they did a great job. Um, there's clearly some things that are weak about it and it's not a perfect show, but it's a perfectly enjoyable show. Uh, it does tend to veer into the CW realm of like, eh, do I really care about the love drama and stuff like that? And you know, some of the CGI stuff is a little, like, dumb, um, campy. And like I said, I would have rather seen more about the family than this, like, drama in high school thing going on here. But they had outstanding performances. I thought Thing was actually really, really good, too. So, good on you, Netflix. Got another hit series. Everybody else seems to be struggling as I go through all the other streaming services it's really uh, it's uncomparable how much material netflix puts out compared to everybody else everybody else is just so far behind them it's kind of shocking so yeah good show i think uh you will enjoy it if you can get past the cw level drama with the high school stuff but rising star jenna ortega you're gonna see a lot more from her thought it was great uh if you want anything more about this let us know in the comments below did you watch it did you enjoy it i've heard a lot of people relate to the game so it took me a long time to get through it, it took me like two weeks to get through this because uh you know i can't just binge things i got other other things to watch but if you like what you heard here today and you want to be up to date to more celebrity phenomena like this where you're going to see more jenna ortega in the future you want to keep be kept up to date like, subscribe, let us know what you're thinking down below. Catch our full-length live audio podcast, which we live stream Friday nights, uh, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can also catch it for free on Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, all those great places and more. 
We'd uh, love to have you in the chat as well. So let us know what you're thinking. And as for me, I'm on to the next one. Thank you.